Hi everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it wrong. I can tell. Hi. So you guys gotta help me out. It's I'm not really too familiar with uh, with Instagram Live, but uh, welcome to uh, our Instagram Live. And thank you very much for joining us. Maraming salamat po. Tonight we have a very very special guest for all of you. Um, and I'm just waiting for him. I'm and I would like to already thank him for actually agreeing to join me. Uh, excited na po ako. Uh, actually, first time ko talaga siyang ma-interview ma at makakausap. Ito na po siya! Napakagwapo hey. ni Derek Clamsey naman. Hi, Derek! <laughs> Hindi niya shaven and oh, going... I'm trying to grow this out for the entire quarantine. Really? Oh, we can't wait. Bagay naman sa'yo. Huwag ka magalala, Derek, because I'm also growing out my white hair. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Here, home alone. Quarantined. Uh, my parents are up in the daytime. You know what? Uh, that's the reason why we're talking to you. First of all, Derek, of course, ang dami-dami nating naririnig ng mga news, social media, sa TV. And ako, ako, I get affected already. I'm, I'm kind of getting depressed already and sad. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is actually bring smiles on the faces of our followers right now para mapahapi naman natin sila ng konti so that they can forget whatever it is, even just for a short while, di ba? Yung mga, I know uh, there's so much negativity out there, no? It's like um, it won't make the news unless it's negative. And that's why on my social media, I've been trying to promote positivity as much as I can. Pang pag good vibes. Good. Um, yesterday, I dedicated the entire day answering DMs about different workouts that I can do at home. So, okay. um, so I replied Actually, to that's like what we're going to talk about people. today. Para mm. naman, uh, sure, sure. para dun sa mga nanonood sa atin. Siyempre, ito yung parati ko naririnig kasi, Derek. Eh. Oh my God, I'm home. I'm so bored. How can you be bored, right? I mean, there's so many things to do at home. So, because Correct. you are so known to be such an athlete. I know I did research. I did a little bit of research on you, Derek. Somehow, any sport you do, you're good at. So this um, is a natural thing, right? It's a born... You're, you're really born to be athletic, right? Aside from being great looking, of course, and being a great actor. So. Um, why, why, thank you. Um, I guess so, yeah. Uh, my parents really stuck me into the world of sports since I was a young child. So it kept me away from the drugs, you know, from all the bad influences out there. And I'm very competitive. So every sport that I pick up, I want to master. And I seem to pick up really quick. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I started since I was like three years old. You know, I, I, three my years mom. Old. What, was your first, what was the first sport that you loved? Football. When I say football, it's soccer. But I call it football. Yeah, so yeah. soccer is my first love. Um, and then I've, I've gotten to so many sports. Water polo. When I was studying in um, the UK, I, I, I took up water polo, cricket, some of the other sports uh, that cricket. maybe wow, That's not know. too popular. Yeah. No, cricket is not too popular here. Cricket in this country, a, it's not popular. <laughs> it's a European sport, right? Cricket? Am it's I right? very popular with the English, the Australians, the... Uh, Indians, um, mm -hmm. the West Indies, they're very much into cricket. So it's very, okay. it's very English. Derek, you know, you have so many fans that are saying hi to you right now. Uh, it's so fast that I can't read it. But say hi now to Tiffany yeah. from Melbourne, Australia. And uh, Hi, Tiffany. Hope you're well over there. Yeah, Later, I, 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 it's going so fast there. Eh. Can you see it also? Can you see the comments? Yeah, I can see them. Thanks for the love, guys. I hope everybody's well. Um, I hope your families are well, too. And uh, for all the our followers right now who are watching, if you have any questions for Derek and if I can see it, please do post your question. Again, aside from, uh, of course, cricket and football, you're also good. So basketball, and lately you've been playing golf also, right? Yeah, um, I, I played semi-professional basketball way in 2004. Then I played in the MPBL again uh, this year, although I wasn't too active because of 
you know, it's hard to make sabai being an actor and an athlete because mm. you do need to put in the work. And with our schedule, sometimes we don't control it, right? And we'll be working 18-hour days and there's just no time to recover. And uh, to be fair to these athletes who, you know, have been dreaming to reach this level of whatever sport they're playing, kailangan, you have to put in the work. So um, out of respect to those athletes, um, I have to back out if I can't put in 200%. Um, but with that said, I'm really into golf now. I want to become a professional golfer. Alam mo, if I didn't sign with GMA last year, I was uh -huh. on, that was my goal. I was going to dedicate, you know, 2019, 2020 to becoming a professional golfer. But, wow. Um, so what's your handicap? I'm just curious. My handicap, I would say now, is about a two, a one or a two. Wow. Professional level. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I'm going to take it up. Maybe we, I'm going to take it up again and maybe we can play. You better, used to right? play. I remember seeing you before in Ayala Labang back in the day. Talaga? Oh, my God. I was so yes. obsessed. I was so obsessed with golf. I used to go to the driving range every day. I wanted to be so good. And then and, and you uh, know, I had my own. I know group. how it was to you. You know how why I knew it was you? Because you were why? covered from head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared of the sun. <laughs> Alam mo na, uh, I didn't want to get too dark. At the same time, I didn't want to get freckles, which is exactly what happened. I still got it, but I mm. so love the game of sport uh, of golf because yes. uh, there's so much patience involved, which is so me, you know. And it's it's perfecting it. One day you're good, and then the next day you're not good. I don't know what happens, yung parang It's it's one... all up here. Um, it's it's a battle of consistency. That's what I like to call it. You can't master mm -hmm. it. It's like, you know, I, I again with all the sports that I've played, this this game golf is is the hardest of all of them. And Talaga. I truly believe it. It's all up here, you and know. Then, and um, then the minute, the minute you let the game it, affect you, that's it, now, right? Yes, or, let you your know. emotions affect you. Yeah. One bad shot can turn into four, five, six more bad shots. Um, but it's 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 really a game that's difficult to master. And uh, uh, like I said, it's it's the most difficult sport that I've ever played. They actually say that uh, when you play golf, it actually, your real, true personality or character comes out <laughs> in the golf course. <laughs> <That's so> <laughs> so you're laughing. What does that mean? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so true. It's a very frustrating sport, you know. Yes, uh, yes. I, 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 I've had my moments of... Uh, collapse of collapsing throwing my clubs and making the bog angry at myself i've done that but that's because i'm very competitive um you know it's really really for me it's easy to get good at golf but to be like at the pro levels when you when you have to hit that ball when people are watching yeah it's so different you know when you play in a tournament the ball you can be like when you do your practice rounds and galing galing mo. But then when you go on the first tee and there's only a few golfers just watching you there, biglang may pressure na yung may pressure ka nang And it changes your swing. Exactly. It really there's does. so much pressure. But yeah, golf can yeah. be very fun, no? So with I, all of these things, you're very athletic ever since you were a kid. How did you actually end up being an actor? I mean, how were you how were you discovered? Uh did you, I, I think you came wow. out in a commercial first, right? Tama ba? It's a, that's a, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very blessed. You know, um, the Lord has been very good to me. And uh, he always gives me opportunities. And my father always told me, if you're given an opportunity, take advantage of it. And if you decide yeah. to go for it, give it your best. And siguro mga seven to eight years, I was being asked to join showbiz but i was still in school and uh, my mom's like uh your priority is school you have to finish school before anything else and i was like don't worry mom me to become an actor is like the last thing i'd ever be i was really yeah. wired to be a sportsman or you know mm -hmm. and now here 
Here ibang you are. Ibang, I, I never, I was actually very shy. Hindi ko kayang humarap sa harapan ng camera, yeah. even for a photo. I was very oh. shy. So You were how, I'm sorry, you were how old when you joined Showbiz? I was, I don't know, I was about, wow, I'd say about 20, maybe 26, 27 already. But I, I, I would do commercials left and right. Even when I was abroad doing, um, uh, doing my studies, they would fly me in to do a commercial. Um, or when I'm visiting my parents on holiday, I do a commercial or two. So um, as a model, I was out there. But even with that, I was really, really shy. And it was, it was annoying me because I said, why, why do I freeze up every time I'm in front of the camera or if the I'm camera. in front of a lot of people? So I joined and I enlisted myself in the school play to get over my fear. And, and how I was, was able that? to get how did that, how did that oh my God. come along? <laughs> oh my God. Your very first school play. Ano nangyari? Oh. oh wow. It was called it was in a box theater too, so where the audience is actually like part of the you know the entire scene. They're like uh -huh. right there. You can touch them. All four corners. You know, you can just touch them and you're moving around them. Oh, and okay. if my parents didn't fly across the world to come and support me. I don't think I could have done it. But that gave me confidence. And when I flew back after I graduated, um, I was getting offers one after the other. I joined MTV. Um, I was with Eat Bulaga first. And then MTV ah, got okay, me. Okay. Yeah. And then... Um, is, that how, I, is that how Georgie met you? Because Georgie, of course, is your, <laughs> is your manager now, right? <laughs> since day one. No, Georgie, since day one. And I came back on holiday visiting my parents and I was in my full uh, school uniform, proud of my oh. tie. Because if you make the rugby team, you get a special tie. That wow, was, okay. I was uh, walking in... Um, I was walking in a hotel, actually, and this guy named Ayo Gunting asked me to do a photo shoot, and I said, no, kind of freaky. And um, this guy was really persistent. He asked my dad, and my dad said, that would be a great idea. Leading to, <laughs> I finished, I graduated school, and I was out partying in the clubs, and Georgie, <laughs> Georgie There's comes Georgie. up to me and said, <laughs> I'm going to manage you one day, boy. And I'm like, get away from me. And then um, <laughs> the rest is history. He's, he's been my manager since day one. Shalang. And uh, we, we, we don't even Georgie, have a contract, Pops. Well, according to Georgie, he only has nice words for you. Ikaw daw yung sobra, sobra ka daw loyal talaga. I mean, and, and that's true, Paul. Wala silang contract, and yet... From the very beginning, uh, Georgie has managed you, and uh, you've been so, so loyal though, to him. Alam mo yon. And he's also very yeah, loyal to you, of course, diba? Super. He's, he's like my second mom. Um, you know, he, he, he is loved dearly by the family, and he has such a great heart. You know, we all went through our trials, Georgie did, and I was there to see it. And it's just so nice to see how he, you know, was able to fight through those battles and... Uh, to become the person that he is today. So uh, I'm very, very happy and I will never replace Georgie in my life. Oh, come um, on. Georgie, I hope you're watching. <laughs> 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 He's probably watching. Um, what's this? Uh, a lot of your fans are asking. First of all, they're saying that you have good, good values. Uh, one is asking, what's your next movie project now, Derek? Oh wow! Um, so I'm in discussion. It's it's uh, actually it's a done deal already. Uh, just a little bit more uh, of uh, tweaking of the contract, but I'll be doing a movie with um, Sam Worthington, the lead star of um, Avatar. Avatar. Yes. Uh, so of excited the Titans. to work with him. The yes, Clash, Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans um, and uh, Terminator, I think. Terminator yes. something. He's an Australian actor, um, but his, his breakthrough was Avatar. And uh, I'll be working uh, on a project with him, the 
the entire film will be shot here in the Philippines, Filipino director, but international producer. And I'm really excited for that. Um, that is exciting. Yes, that's so good for you. Yeah. It's a 80s story. So I'm kind of, I, I love, I love uh, period films and uh, um, I'm going to get to work with a superstar from Hollywood. And uh, I know that's so that good. Then. Does that mean that yeah. uh, the, the movie's also going to, of course, the movie's going to be shown in Hollywood, no? We get to watch you. It, it, actually, yeah, I, I'm hoping they they get to show it here, but the plan <laughs> is to uh, bring it out internationally. So um, this is one, it's a trilogy. Um, so I hope oh. the first one does well. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool. And it's, is it going to be, a, you said 80s, <clears throat> but is it going to be more of like an action, drama, thriller? Can you just give it's us... It's going to be an action a suspense thriller um, based on a true story. Um, basically, we're best friends. We're both policemen. Uh, wow. And uh, he's a retired policeman living in the Philippines, but then gets called out to... I don't want to tell everyone... <laughs> Everything, Don't say it now. Basically, we're, we're, we're good friends. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're good, good friends. Things and... happen to, uh, good things happen to good people. So, abangan niyo po. Ayan ang magiging next project ni Derek. Uh, na movie. Thank you. It's, it's pang Hollywood. Yes, and so also we have, have a telestory. Yes, yes, yes. I also yes. have a telestory uh, with uh, Andrea again. Um, so, that's pretty cool that I get to work with her again. And this is also mm -hmm. action. It's called Sanggang Dikit. And uh, we start once the quarantine's over. That's the first thing on my list of things to great, do. Great, so great. Andrew and I will be working on that. Ang galing. Um, I'm so happy that uh, there's so many plans for you uh, this year. And a lot of your fans are going to be waiting for that. Oh my gosh, sabi ni trans, trans woman ba yun? Ano ba tama ba? Oh my gosh, I'm yes. so excited and excited sila. We have, uh, we have viewers that are saying hello all the way from Canada. Did I see Australia earlier? Uh, and they're saying that they're very excited that you're going to do another soap with Andrea. Ayan. Tapos, um, Derek, uh, I asked earlier, no? uh, your health buff and everything, and you actually said also that uh, you've been answering a lot of health stuff. Uh, how, what, can, what kind of advice can you give to our followers para naman nga, while they're staying at home, uh, probably just uh, watching Netflix or watching TV and eating, they stay healthy naman. What's the easiest exercise that they can do? Well, you know, the reason why people uh, forget about exercising and the importance of exercising is because we are so preoccupied with all the other things that we do in life and now that we're quarantined this is a great chance for us to change our ways you know and it all it takes is 10 to 15 minutes for any level whether you're a beginner or advanced it'll only take 10 to 15 minutes of your day every day and, yeah, every um, day every day so for me um the best kind of workout will be the one that you use most of the muscles of your body and if you use more muscles you burn more calories and I work out before breakfast um, every morning so that throughout the entire day, my body's firing burning calories and um, I can cheat and eat whatever I want. Um, okay. With that said, it's, it's just a, a hit workout, a combination of different exercises where you have minimal rest, but I'm not, going, I'm not telling you to go out there and kill yourself, okay? Yeah. Um, be true to yourself push yourself and it's fun if you have somebody at the in the house to to do it with you um to push you even better but you know basically you can do burpees a combination of burpees push-ups and different variations of uh ab workouts like a plank side planks and i just cycle them 10 squats 10 push-ups 10 crunches and I do it 10, 10, 10 for 10 minutes and see as many as, uh, how many I can do, how many sets I can do in 10 minutes, record that. And then on the second day, so that may hinahabul ka, see if you can do more than what you did the previous The, the, the last day. time, okay. Burpees are hard yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 
I struggle with push-ups. <laughs> And See, but are those hard. are those but are I normal things. Those are right? yes, yes. So progressive. You can do it on your knees. Um, you know, I'm not saying do ten burpees in ten seconds. Um, if it takes you thirty seconds to to do ten burpees, that's fine. You know, that's why you record your progress. If you were able to do three cycles in ten minutes, maybe you can do three cycles in a bit on the next day. And slowly you'll get stronger and stronger. But the thing is, after you work out, feed your body because you need food. That's your fuel to recover. Um, you know, that's where you get your energy. Doing workouts like this, concentrate on getting a little bit more protein if you want to develop more muscle. But if not, then aho, stick to whatever diet that you have. But if you do what this every morning. What is your diet, morning, Derek? Do you diet? I don't... I, uh... I, I, just don't skip meals. I just eat. I eat whatever I want. Okay. You know, that's why so I that, work out before breakfast. You eat carbs, Tama. You, you can eat carbs. I love, they're my parents. Look, I'll show you what my dinner is for. Sige nga, pakita nga, Derek. Oh, adobo. What is that? Oh my God, See it? Up. Okay, gutom na kami. <laughs> I will finish all that rice. I will finish all of that rice. Oh, wow. So it's not true yeah, that you, can, you should not eat carbs. Because look at you your know, body. Carbs, man. Dear, if, if you don't take in carbs, you won't have energy. And uh, it, that's bad. A lot of people work out and then don't feed their body. You know, you'll, you'll actually start burning muscle if you keep working out with, uh, without eating. You, you'll burn muscle and you won't perform. So a lot, hydration and food intake is really important, guys, when you're going to live an active lifestyle. And they're white rice. If, I know. <clears throat> Derek, they're asking if you can cook. Do you cook well? I can fry. I can fry. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you can fry fish. You can fry steak. Yep. Hot, hot dogs. I can fry an egg. Oh, um, my gosh. I'm not. I'm not very good in the kitchen. Uh, Andrea and I did a live uh, video of. She was teaching me how to cook, basically, and I was so stressed out. It was like she finished two pasta dishes, and I still wasn't done boiling my pasta, oh my and I God. ended up uh, overcooking it. So I'm not very good in the kitchen, although it's one of my favorite areas to be in in the house. So I have to have a nice kitchen. I love the kitchen. What's your favorite food? Someone's asking. Ah, oh, sinigang na baboy. I love wow. sinigang. Okay, pareho tayo. Okay. Yeah, I love I love sinigang. Whether it's baboy is my favorite, but any form of sinigang is yeah. good. Yeah. So oh. that means Andrea cooks for you a lot because she's a better cook, right? Tama ba? Yeah, you know I can't tell you to follow what I am right now because I've been living a disciplined lifestyle for a very long time. So we have mm -hmm. to assess where your metabolism is at. When you starve your body, you, you're killing that metabolism. So <clears throat> the way I look at it is if, you know, a lot of us skip meals and uh, our metabolism slows down and then when we're really, really hungry, we just gorge and, you know, eat so much in one sitting. That's okay. me. So imagine, <laughs> imagine there's a fire, that's your metabolism. You're gonna dump all of that there the, the fire just dies. But if you slowly start feeding it and feeding it, feeding, the flame gets bigger. So mm -hmm. when, you're, when the flame is huge, then you can start, you know, really eating. And eating okay. if you love to eat. I and and, to and eat rice also. is easy to burn. Rice is so easy to burn. It, the bad that. thing about rice, yeah, the bad thing about rice is if you don't do anything, then it turns into bad sugar. And okay. hence the... The fat around I, the belly. Well, lately I've been working out a little bit from the house. So maybe one of these days we mm. can do another session where you can show us some of your workouts, the right, Derek? Yes, you know, join Derek, me anytime. To guess again, we can do that while we're stuck in our enhanced community and no quarantine. Derek, they're <laughs> yeah. actually also very curious. Do you, of course, in the future you're going to get married, right? Uh, is it going to be some time? In the far future, or do you see yourself 
uh, getting settled sometime in the near future. Nakikichismis lang ako with them. Ayan. Alam mo, the great thing na. about the great thing about quarantine is you can reflect and you can do so much thinking. That's why, you know, the other times are boring, but most of the time, I'm thinking about so many things and that is probably in the top three. I, 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 my parents have been married for almost 50 years, so I have the perfect marriage to follow. I just don't want to make mistakes. And right now, I'm in a very happy place. And uh, uh, she, I think she would make a, a, a beautiful wife. Like, like, we get along in so many ways. We connect in so many ways. And during the quarantine period, I've been thinking a lot about having kids and settling down. I'm, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm finishing my house, my dream house, where I plan to live for the next 20 years in Alabang. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the quarantine happened, so I, I was just about to move in, actually. But oh, okay. it, everyone says, Derek, you're all by yourself. Why would you build a, a big house like this? And it's like, because I plan to fill it up. <laughs> I plan to start my family. So fingers crossed, it will be very soon. We're so excited for you. No, wow. We better hear... I better hear, I, I better be one of the, I think I'm going to be, at the, I'll, I'll rephrase my, my, my. You'll story. definitely be invited. I will be one of the early people who will hear about it, probably. Only because of Georgie. <laughs> and you will be there. I want a small, small, only a small uh, wedding. But again, what if Andrea wants something bigger, then we have to give her, we have to give her that. Yeah, it's it's usually uh it's a it's a girl's dream, diba? So para sa mga yes. babae, people say I don't believe in marriage. Every it's you know for the people always say si Derek hindi naniniwala. I do. I believe in marriage because like I said, my parents are yeah. are, are married and, and 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 happily married. I have the perfect marriage to to follow, but you know, um the whole point of marriage is dapat but till death do us part. And, till death. Um, and through thick and thin. And uh, for richer so, and for poorer. Oh, yeah. I, I can give you advice. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you advice. Ayan, ayan. Please do. I, I've learned a lot from... from <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that, you you know, that's life. Eric. You make mistakes and you learn. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I said that's what life, you know, that, that's the definition of life. You make mistakes yes, and you yes, learn from yes. it. Yes, You make mistakes, you learn from it, and then you get a little bit smarter and a little bit wiser. Of course, if you don't make the yes. mistakes, you'll never learn, diba? Sana matuto yes, na nga ako soon, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, aside from all of these wonderful things that were uh, describing si Derek na loyal siya, magaling siyang athlete. Si Derek rin po is sobrang matulungin. Uh, ako, I keep hearing this, Derek, na every time um, someone approaches you, uh, you easily say, yes, right away, madali kang kausap. Aside from that, is madami ka rin mga charitable institutions that you're helping out with, di ba? Meron kang Habitat for Humanity. Of course, yes. uh, lalong lalo na ngayon, di ba? Um, madami pong nangangailangan ng tulong. Is there anything in particular that you're actually focused on right now uh, because of the well, habitat is habitat for me is 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 so wonderful because you're 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 putting a roof over a family's head and mm -hmm. again you know how important family is to me and uh, one of the you know the best things my best memories in life are me with my family in our home and if mm -hmm. you can give a family their own home then their kids will definitely have a brighter future staying away from this you know all, all the negativity out there in the streets the drugs um so i i really do whatever i can uh for habitat but then there's also operation smile um you know the, the kids with cleft palates just yeah. a simple procedure it's not really a simple procedure but you know because they're in and out and um the it changes that kid's life their confidence yes. you know uh, they, they 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 learn to love themselves and it's just amazing 
it, their 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 name it, it's a perfect fit the way these kids you know their eyes just sparkle when you see them after their operation you know and it just only gets better than uh day by day um we did a uh one campaign with bello yeah and i was uh, very lucky to be there and and actually see these kids get operated on and then see them two months later and you won't recognize them and not just so physically you know? yes that's the best part they're just oh my god i i you can't explain it it's just umiyak talaga ako na to see these kids with with so much happiness you it's know true. and you're actually I, changing oh. their lives by yeah. bringing them confidence by allowing yeah. them to smile again yeah. yes know. Na mesmerize ako sa iyo Derek, ang guwapo mo. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo Derek, uh, we have uh, our our viewers who are watching all the way from UAE. I had to write it down. Singapore. Wow. Uh ang daming nanonood pa lang ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Uh they all want to be greeted, but of course we will try to we will try to say all the names kaya lang ang bilis-bilis pong uh ang bilis-bilis pong mag-flash uh, nung pangalan nyo. Meron rin pong nanonood from Japan, uh, Chicago, I just I love Japan. Chicago. And everyone saying how guapo you are because you so are guapo. Oh my gosh. Nako. <laughs> Meron pala I, I, also, I, I, diba? I, look so I, I like that look on you, actually. I like it. Thank Maybe you. Maybe you should keep it for your next soap and your movie. Because your maybe, movies yeah, have action, maybe. action suspense, yeah. diba? I think that's great. Are you actually? Yeah, how that, are you preparing that. for this movie? I'll be so. Kung magasak ako, ako yan, and I know it's gonna be shown in Hollywood. Ah, uh, siguro I'll be doing so many things. You know, how are you actually you know, preparing for? You know, I'm not gonna attack it any differently from the way I attack my films here. Are you still there? I think I lost you. I'm. I'm there. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Can you, can um, you see me? I'm not going to attack it any differently just because it it's with a Hollywood actor, you know, my res- much respect to him, but I'm going to give the same respect to my fellow ar- artistas here, you know? So, um, you know, it's it's do I feel more pressure? Maybe. But the way I'm going to attack it's still the same way. Um, uh, you have to be confident. You also have to respect your co-actors in the sense na hindi mo pwedeng isipin na kailangan ko talaga ibigay yung super super todo ko dito. Kailangan sabayan mo yung binibigay sa'yo ng uh, kaiksena mo. Because if you give 200% and they only give 100% or 80%, you know, yung, yung, you're trying too hard. Um, mm-hmm. It's not going to look good. So dapat you guys should be on the same level. So I'm gonna attack it the same way. I'll talk to him off cam, um, befriend him, learn something, and then uh, bring my character to life. Great, great, great. Uh, ang dami pang mga nag-hello sa'yo, Derek. Uh, I know, sa akin, so hang eh. The, the messages coming ha- up, it, like, it's, it's like frozen. All the, me- the, the messages are frozen, so I can't see them anymore. You ah, can't see them. I, I will try to read them for you uh, after, after this. Um, I had another question in my mind. Ah, may natatanong pala, Derek. Who is your favorite leading lady? Aside from Andrea, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a difficult um, Maybe question. not favorite or some, somebody who you got uh, closer to in the process, of course, uh, with working with her. Sino kaya yun? You can mention several. Um, I, 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 I built a great... Uh, friendship with all uh, my leading ladies, actually. You know, Anne and I uh, did a couple of movies together. Janelyn and I did a couple of movies mm-hmm. together. Um, Anne Curtis. But, you know, I have to say, yeah, Anne Curtis, Jen, uh, uh, Christine, um, Lovey, Andrea. I worked with so many leading ladies, but You know, I'd have to say, if you're going to put a gun to my head and make me choose, I, I would have to say um, 
Judian Santos because oh. when I was a nobody, she, uh, you know, she's superstar. Like, you know, back then she was super a superstar, and till today she's a superstar. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was a and a great actress. Then. Very, very good. At malakas sum- magsap sumampal. <laughs> the heaviest <laughs> hand I ever touched. Hindi mo siya nakalimutan mo, after. She, she agreed to work with me and I had no name. I had nothing. I was shocked that she would allow me to be her leading man when wala pa akong pinatunayan. You know, so she uh, uh, she was my leading lady or I was her, I was her leading man in a teleserie called Ita. And then right after that teleserie, she agreed to me being her leading man again in our next teleserie. So I'd have to give it to Miss Judy at Santos. Mabait rin kasi si Juday, di ba? I also hear a lot of wonderful things about her. Yeah, she is, she is. I will always be grateful. She is a big part and uh, one of the major reasons to why I am where I am right now. Oh, okay. Uh, my friend Georgie Babusha from New York said she used to watch your teleserie with uh, Judai. Ayan. So, you know, she's all the way from New York. I, I have a lot of friends oh, that are you. actually thank watching you. right now. I, I get to, I will greet you yeah, guys. Yeah, we have um, but, uh, Chris. I think this Chris is watching. I know her. She's been a, uh, uh, a fan and now a friend for many years now. And uh, she <clears throat> was a part of our live um, streamed the other day and she donated so many face masks. So I just want to say hi, Chris. Oh, wow. Thank you, Chris. Maraming salamat. Leia, also from Chicago, and Rose. is watching. There's Marlene. Uh, in a great request, have you worked with Don, Don Zulueta? They were saying Derek and Don. That would be a nice combination. Wow, I would Wow, I would, I would. would love to work with Don. I, I, I see um, you guys together. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to work with her. Uh, big Hello. fan. She's uh, she's beautiful. Um, yeah, she's she's someone I'd love I'd love to work with. You know, I'm I'm so blessed. Like I I've worked with so many great uh, leading ladies. Um, uh, I, I can't mention them all. There was a challenge that was given to me before, and they gave me the list of all the women that I've worked with, and I didn't know it was that many. Pala, <laughs> time flies. Tumatanda <laughs> na. No, there's no such thing. Ano ba? There's no such thing. Age is but a number. Yes, it is. As long as you're enjoying, and of course, we should do a, a movie. Position, de ba? I think that's very important. Nakita mo ba yung pangalan ko dun sa listahan na yon? Ano, Derek? Ano ba sa? Yeah, many Nakita times. Ba? Nakita ko. List yes. of women that you Pops can work and with. Derek. Oh, it says there, Pops and Derek teleserie. <laughs> oh. The joke lang yon, my God. Magiging comedy yan, I swear. Um, what yeah. do you call this? Si Angelica, when I, I did a movie with Angelica, and I, nag, nag-teleserie din kami ni Angelica, yung uh, mm-hmm. uh, Maging Sino Ka Man, part two. Yes. Um, uh-huh. We did a teleserie, and uh, we did a movie also, I Love You Goodbye, and she's one of the most you know, talented uh, artistas that the Philippines has to offer. Um, I'd love to do, I saw kasi somebody, say something if I could do a movie with her. I'd love to do a movie with her again. Actually, ang dami man nga nakatrabaho ng mga napakagaling na mga artista na babae. Talaga. Bea. Bea, Bea, Bea Longzong. Yes, yeah, all of them. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. Swerte, you really... I, I don't think it's swerte. I, I hate using the word lucky or swerte. For me, there's no such thing. You're very, very blessed. I believe blessed. that. Blessed. Yes, um, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pop, like your I skin said, is glowing. Ka, oh. Ano? What? No comment. Pops, your skin is glowing. It's the light. It's my light. <laughs> I have a special light. Oh, kasi madilim. <laughs> so that's very important. Ayan. You know what, Derek? It's so fun to talk to you. Ano mo ba, Derek? I don't know if I ever made you cuento this or if Augie ever made you cuento this. And if Augie's watching... I, we, Augie and I had, uh, one time we were, uh, we uh, came, we went out after a Gabay Guru, one of those Gabay Gurus that we did. We were talking backstage and then uh, uh, Augie and I were also there and then Augie and I decided to go out to dinner. 
Tapos, wala lang, nagkakabiruan lang kami. Sabi ko, oh, Gika, kilala mo ba si Derek? Sabi niya, yeah, sabi niya, bakit? Sabi ko, uy, tawagan mo naman si Derek. Because, you know, every year, I attend the Tattler Ball with my friend, of course, Anton, di ba? And every year, Anton is my date for the Tattler Ball. I have no choice. If Anton's watching, <laughs> I love you, Anton. Ayan. So sabi ko, friend ba kayo? Sabi ko, sabi ko, wala lang, para lang ma-shock yung mga tao pagpasok. Because I never, I never have any date. I, when I go out in these things, I never bring anybody. Sabi ko, kung close naman kayo, para lang ma-shock yung tao pagpasok ko sa Tatler Ball. Sabi mo naman kay Derek, uh, sumahan naman niya ako sa Tatler Ball. Of course, he goes, yeah, close kami, close kami. Sabi ko, sige nga, tawagan niya. <laughs> So, I don't know if you remember, he did call you. Yes, I remember. And then, and then he, just, he just talked about golf, and the whole time I was beside him, I was like, <laughs> Tatler Ball. Sabi ko, yung Tatler Ball. Hanggang sa he ended the phone call, and I was like, what happened to the Tatler Ball? <laughs> Tapos, I see him again after how many years, and he goes, Pops, Pops, close na close na talaga kami ni Derek ngayon. <laughs> Sabi ko, hindi pala kayo close yung araw. Sabi ko, ang kapal. Well, anyway, that's that's how I remember that. I don't know if he ever told you. I thought oh, it was hysterical. No, I remember that. I remember. I remember Augie calling me. But again, yeah. it, it, he mentioned that Gabay Guro. That's with Miss Shay. Si yes. Ate Shay. Si Sister Shay. Si Miss Shay. Um, sa pang babae ito. Oh. Super. I, 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 I'm really disappointed that I missed last year's. You know, I've been there since day one where they only had like 20, 20 to 30 teachers. And now mm-hmm. you've been there also for the past yes, uh, yes, few yes. years. Yes, um, uh, For the past few years, uh, yeah. Yeah, diba? Punong-puno yung stadium. So, always. Yeah, always, yeah. Always. If Para you, sa mga guru natin, yeah. I think it's, yes, uh, yes, it's yes. very nice what they're doing. Yes, Derek, yes. ito question ko to. I've never, I, I've never seen you. Maybe you have. Had, you've done this. Do you sing, Derek? Do you sing? Can you sing? You know, it's one of those things that because I, I grew up also. Um, my mom made sure that like my entire life is ballet, so I have sports, but I also had to play an instrument, and I played oh. uh, the piano and uh, the trumpet. So I can carry a tune. I'm not a I'm not a singer, a great singer like you. Trumpet, sorry, um, you have to have yeah it's very, it's very hard lungs, it's, right yeah and your lips right because you have to blow it like like that yeah 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 um, um so i can carry a tune but i'm not a singer like you um and if you put me again this is what i've never overcome if i'm singing in the bathroom i can sing or at least i think i can sing mm-hmm. but then if you tell me to sing in front of people it just it. goes away. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you just, can sing. Just, you, I'm sure you can away. sing. You just need confidence to sing in front of people. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm game. I'll do it. But I know I sound, ba- I sound bad. You know? No. Um, when we have mall shows, I sing. I, I won't allow myself to have a ghost singer. I, you know, it's my voice. But talagang you can tell na I'm not, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Nagre-request sila do it daw tayo. Mahirap kasi wala pong ako na nagsagot for you. <laughs> Did you see that face? <laughs> Guys, hindi niyo ako pwedeng itabi kay Miss Pops. Hello. <laughs> no, maybe one time for fun in the karaoke and then I'll shoot it and then I'll just show it to them. <laughs> ah, game ako diyan. If it's karaoke, diba? okay. Alam mo, Kahit ang, anong I song. would love we would love to say hello to everybody. Uh, ang bilis-bilis lang po. Iba po kasi yata sa IG Live. Mas mabilis po yung pag-scroll ng mga names. Yes. But thank you, thank you so much po for all of your comments and of course all of your requests. Uh, hindi ko lang po mabasa. Ang bilis-bilis po. Magpa-practice yeah. po si Derek. Ayun naman pala. Pwede naman pala. Yung pamangking ko si Erica. Ngayon lang naman ako tinulungan. Ano ba yan? <laughs> Pwede pa lang scroll up, Derek. Ayan, <laughs> suddenly. Ha, all of a sudden. Oo oh, nga, pwede. Ako rin! <laughs> see, now you can Ako see. Ako rin. Kanina pa, I was suffering. I couldn't see. Oh my gosh. 
There's Andrick World. Of course, there's Marlene. Thank there's you. Vanessa. Yeah. There's Nonis Jamelogo. Good vibes, girl. Uh, your local FXN girl. Ayan. Si JJ Steph. You know, maraming, maraming Pops, I just want to say, you know, we have the best fans, the Andrick fans. They're so loyal. They're so kind. So all the Andrick fans, thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. And thank you for the love and support that you give uh, Andrea and I. Pops, they're the best talaga. Um, you know, hindi sila nakakalimot. They're always there. Super. Oh, because the best rin kayo, I'm sure. Mapagmahal kayo. Ganun yun eh. Diba? Oh, Germany. Derek, is there any... Oh, we'll go back to... Siyempre, baka you have... I, I know you're about to have dinner and I actually disturbed your mm -hmm. dinner. You haven't even started it. No, no problem. No problem. Is, the, is there any message that you can tell our followers to encourage them and to actually inspire them uh, during these times? Uh, would you like to say a few words to them, of course? Yes. Um, you know, guys, this is... We're going through some trying times and um, it's, 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 it's difficult, but... If life was easy, life would be boring. With that said, you know, a lot of us are going through some pain. A lot of us are going through some hurt. But, you know, we just got to believe with the man upstairs. And uh, he's telling us something. He's trying to make us realize that, you know, some of us, our priorities are out of whack. I'll be the first one to admit my, you know, my priorities were blurry. Mm -hmm. And actually... We have to find the good in, in everything. And in this situation that we are in now, for myself, I've really, you know, done some reflecting and found him. And my relationship with him is so much stronger. And with him, we can get through anything. So guys, you know, make that a part of your life. Um, pray, talk to him, befriend him. Um, and, and, and you'll see some drastic changes in your life. With your health, you know, the toughest thing about living an active lifestyle is that first week or two, get over that hump. Some of us can get two, three days, and then we give up. It's supposed to be hard. So once you get past that hump, it then becomes easy because you look for it. So consistency is the key to, to any workout. All the, all the workouts that you see out there, they all work if you are consistent. So, guys, find something that you like to do. You don't have to follow my program. Find any program that you like and be consistent with it, and you will see drastic changes in your life. And once this quarantine is over and you can carry that on to your normal life, life will be so much better. So, Great. Take care of your faith. Thank you, Derek. Of course, of it's very important also to sana po eh makasundo-sundo po tayo. Wala muna po siguro mga yes, negative please, muna. Yes, please. Diba, and Pops, can I just take thing? this opportunity to just say thank you to all the frontliners because they're really yes. putting, you know, their lives at risk um, to, to help us. You know, they're really out there facing this virus head on and, uh, they definitely deserve to be thanked and to be called heroes. Um, you know, they're out there away from their families, risking their lives. And uh, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of the frontliners out there. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga frontliners po talaga. They're actually risking our, their lives to save yes. our lives. So, totoo po yan. You know, Anton San Diego is actually watching us right now. I just saw his name. Hey, Hi, Anton. We just talked about you. <laughs> uh, the, I, I'll say this list, ha, because they always watch me, Derek, if, if you don't mind. The Pipanas, the Pops fans, Solid Pops, Pops Angels, Popsicles, I love Pops Fernandez, Special Friends of Pops Martin, the Team Hopia, Power Pops Girls, Happy Anniversary Tomorrow Pops, Unbeatable Pops, Little Pops, and the Shellanatic. Sorry, ang haba, but there you go. No, maraming wow. maraming salamat, That's Derek. So many Sana people po na love you, Pops. Sana namin kayong lahat. Alam niyo po, napakabait ni Derek. Isang text lang po sa kanya, umuok kagad siya. Mas kinagutom na gutom na po siya ngayon dahil hindi pa siya nag-dinner, <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you all. Have God a good bless evening. You, God I'm bless so everybody. Happy. I'm so happy for all of your achievements. Thank you. See you tomorrow, you. guys. 12 noon. Dito rin po sa IG Live. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See ya.